city of Detroit's Department of Transportation is changing 15 different bus routes. DDON says the changes are in response to customer demand. Local 4's Guy Gordon shows us what it all means for bus riders. 24-hour service on all lines was cut back in 2011, and that's left a big hole in the transit web for a lot of riders. When Mark Gibson gets called into work early at Marigrove College, he has no mass transit options to do. Well, call somebody for a ride. That's what you've been doing? Yeah. But beginning Saturday, that system will offer 24-hour service on Gibson's Woodward route and on the busy Grand River and Gratiot runs. Well, if we get it Saturday, if I have to go, I can get on the bus because nobody likes to get up that time of the morning to come get you or take you. And I'll tell you what, I go out uh, throughout the city and it's probably the number one service request. Today, the 1 p.m. 8 mile east bus at Woodward was 10 minutes late, but in evenings, it's much worse. Maybe 15 minutes, sometimes 20 minutes, maybe sometime half an hour from other people that I've talked to. DDOT will extend hours of service on 8 mile and 7 mile as well as others, and it's also adjusting schedules for more reliable service on 8 mile, Fort, Joy, McNichols, 7 mile, and Schaefer. Here's how. On 8 mile, current schedules are built on the route taking 55 minutes. Dirk says their studies show the average is about 65. Those new schedules will reflect the more reasonable estimate. To the average rider, when they look at the schedule, the bus is going to be on time. I mean, now that driver starts out after his first trip, he's 10 minutes late. It's no fault of the driver. They, you know, in the past, they've done unrealistic schedules. DDOT has also coordinated with SMART to make for easier transfers on those overnight runs and is looking forward to putting more buses on the road in 2016 to improve reliability and frequency even further. From Detroit's north side, I'm Guy Gordon, Local 4.